Yo guys, what is up? Welcome back to the vlog. So happy Friday like always, but today we are going to start gutting the interior on the back seat of the BMW. So my big process today is getting rid of the two side panels, the seats, bottom and top, and then maybe some stuff in the trunk. Um, I'm, right now I'm a little bit limited to space in my garage, so I'm actually going to end up posting these up for sale on probably craigslist or facebook or something like that just to, i don't plan to put them back in this car this car is going to get gutted for the time i own it and i'm not really planning on uh, ever putting it back together so there's no use for me to keep these parts so i'm just going to sell them get rid of them not even worry about them the seats have seen better days but they are still nice you know it's, it's more just like surface stuff probably fix it if you're you, if you do like leather repair so I'm going to get into this now, and we're going to watch this car slowly kind of transform into what it's going to be, hopefully, by next year. All right, guys, so I'm going to set you guys up the best I can to watch this process. So I'm going to start by taking the seats out, which I just uh, played with it. It's uh, that easy for the top half. Then you're just going to have to uh, remove this bottom. Oh, wow, that's a... Uh, that's very safe by the previous owner to uh, leave the seatbelt un untouched. Wow, I'm glad uh, nobody was riding in the seat during a car accident. This uh, this previous owner really made this car safe for me. Let's just put it that way. So uh, let me get this out of the car. Oh, 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 not a lot of room get this bottom half removed up and out of here Ooh, this car is gnarly dude I don't know why I've waited so long to uh, get this car gutted because this has so far been such an easy process Oh, well, he, he left this one bolted up. That, that was nice of him. I just gotta grab my ratchet and get this one out of here real quick. Back with a 16 to get this seatbelt removed. Sorry I don't have the best view for you guys. There's not a good way to uh, film the back seat with the tripod that I have. But, let's get this up and out of the way real quick. I'm gonna have to come in here with a trash bag and a vacuum and try to clean this up because this is gnarly. This is gross. But, that being said, seat number two removed. Then we can get this lap belt out of the way too. It's a gross lap belt. That'll also be for sale. So, let's take a look at what we're doing with on these. I don't know how those come out, to be honest. I'm gonna have to uh, probably look it up, but it'll probably be best to get these out of the way before, and then I can get these side panels off and start cleaning this, clean this up a little bit, make it look a little better than it is. All right, guys, I figured out how to do this side. I just kind of yoinked it out, so pull it, and then you just gotta get this removed and uh there's that side it's that easy you just gotta you just gotta yoink it a little bit so far there's all of that i would like to uh scale it all out and see what i lost so i might do, do that i'm gonna grab just like my normal scale just stand on it with those so we can see the weight differences but i'm gonna keep kind of kneading at this i'm gonna start removing these side panels and then probably see what i can get from up top real quick now so Let's, that was easy. Let's get this side out now. Oh, that was easy. All this sound deafening on the bottom here, I'm probably just gonna end up throwing that away as well as like these side panels. I might try to keep this in one piece. We got some 
trim pieces, trim tools right here. Probably gonna keep try to keep these in one piece so I can sell these. Well, try to sell these with the side panels. Because everyone likes full pieces. Let's see here. So now you'd probably like a complete set compared to not a complete set. That's how I would be. Okay guys, moved on to the back. So I'm just going to throw this away all together. This thing is gross. And then let's see what the, what's on this side. I have to uh, remove that little nut, lift this up, see what's on this side. I'm um, just gonna take the spare tire out put it off to the side batteries here so i'm gonna leave that but i might be able to take out some more stuff from up there and i might be able to remove all this rear carpet for now okay just got this black panel removed there's nothing under it except for just a bunch of trash um let's see we got like this stupid sound detonating i mean this right here weighs like two pounds i like that for now i'm gonna keep this tool thing in here just because, I mean, it's kind of handy to have. So that weight's not gonna kill me for now. But I'm gonna see what of the carpet I can get rid of real quick that's just towards the rear of the car. So like that whole piece is one. I'm gonna get rid of that and then that one. And then I'll probably just pause there for a little while and kind of see if uh, the weights actually helped because this is quite a bit of stuff if you add it all together. I mean, maybe hundred pounds if so. I'm just gonna calculate all that towards the end of the video. I go and fish eye again doing a one-hander vlogger kind of thing. So I'm gonna get this clip removed real quick. Pop that out. Got another fresh piece of carpet up out of the back here. And then I'm gonna try to remove that sound dampening right there. So let's see. That's what we have. That this. Here's the rear of the car now. Let's see if this in. Oh, so that is a plate blocked by the ground so i will leave that for now might be able to peel this up get this removed that would be a nice one i uh, recommend gloves doing this but i'm just gonna grab that last piece take this tire out show you guys how much i'm dealing with then i'm gonna weigh all of this and then throw stuff away and then keep stuff to post for sale guys we had some unfortunate events my tripod just snapped oh no well, I don't have a big tripod anymore, so I'm gonna have to find my little one or just show you guys uh, while uh, holding you. With everything I'm wearing right now, I'm coming about to 190. I'm just gonna say 190. I mean, I got full clothes on, you know, all that stuff. So 190, and then we'll add up all of this other weight. All right, so the spare tire that started off, 30 pounds. I'm going to start keeping track of all this weight that we are losing. <laughs> Look at that pile of stuff, guys. And that's just, just starting out. I wish I had a better scale than this, but let's get to the next two. What are these two pieces together? These two plastic pieces are gonna get junked. So, about five pounds worth of stuff here. That's easy enough. Carpet, I mean, this is gonna be, you know, pretty much nothing compared. I'm not even gonna weigh that, it's gonna be, maybe two pounds. You got a nice piece of sound, sound dampening. I mean, maybe, maybe three, three pounds there. That's all junk. This piece, I mean, that's like a nice pound. We got these two rear pieces that these are gonna be both going on, going for sale. Let's, uh, we're at like 210. 210 so i'd say yeah, this isn't quite 20 pounds worth maybe say 15 pounds here we're gonna keep these two though those are going for sale so let me add these up and then get with the big stuff all right so roughly for this pile we're at about 60 pounds this i mean this is a nice chunk of change let's see putting this up on the scale another 
another 15 pounds for this seat. This will be going up for sale. This one is a little bit smaller than that other one. Um, I mean, seatbelt, that'll be going for sale up. But I mean, that's not even a couple ounces. These, these are only a couple ounces. Those are, those got nothing to them. Same, you know, same with this other side on the same piece. It's got nothing to it. But this seat, let's see, 12 pounds maybe. Nice little weight. Let me add these up to see where we're at. And last but not least, this one feels heavier than the other one did. It's like 16 pounds right there. Plus, I'm getting rid of my door card because my door card's broken because my window is all broken up. So I'll be getting rid of all that stuff soon. But got the door card, sound dampening, my mat there. And that's another five pounds. But all in all, I just added it up, did some just quick math for kind of the numbers I got. We have about 110 pounds, 120 pounds. That all adds up very quickly. And now we got a little bit more weight from the rear wheels gone. That means more sliding, more drifting. Well guys, that's what 115 pounds of weight saving looks like. I got a lot to clean up still, but I mean, there's a lot, that, a lot that can still get done, like moving these factory seats out, getting rid of all the factory carpet, center console, you know, that, that plethora over there, some of the dash components, it all adds up. It's on its way to a drift car. Once I start getting the coilovers, um, you know, getting rid of the factory suspension, all that stuff will make changes as well. So hopefully you guys like that. It's, it's as easy as that. Hopefully you guys like this video though. Stay tuned for next week. I'll catch you guys. Peace.